Hello everyone, I'm Young Sung Jeon. I'm a researcher at Ajun University in South Korea. In the presentation, I'm going to talk about the human-centered deep learning based framework for fashion style analysis. Uh, this work is done with Sung Wan Jin and Dr. Kyung Shik Khan at Ajun University. Fashion industry is an important part of the economy. The global market for apparel is estimated 3 trillion US dollars and 2% of the world GDP. Uh, due to the development of the internet and mobile technology, fashion late image are increasingly being shared online and user and dependence of online shopping is increasing. Online information such as image and text to describe the fashion products play an important role in the analysis of fast changing fashion for fashion professional and as well as in consumer purchasing decision. Recently with deep learning, fashion image data are now utilized for modeling, which enable quantitative and objective analysis of fashion style. Although fashion research with computing te techniques give such ample opportunity in the fashion domain. Our interview with the fashion professionals and related literature review indicate that existing researcher has not yet sufficiently reflected fashion professional perspectives, especially in data preparation for AI modeling. Reflecting professional knowledge on AI modeling and data preparation is important. This is because Data reliability and representation is of the utmost importance in data analysis and modeling. Satisfying these conditions provide greater meaning for the analysis and improve the utilization of leisure in the fashion in industry. We aim to make use of technology more relevant by basing our model on interaction with the fashion professional in order to, to examine limitation on the fashion data they used in prior study to identify professional knowledge needed to reflect on AI and data set and to investigate how to utilize computational model wizard. In this paper, we introduce a fancy fashion attribute detection for clustering style, a human-centered deep learning-based framework that has following components. Through interview with fashion professional, we figured out the importance of the fashion attributes and the relationship between the fashion styles and attributes, which are absent in previous research. Through collaborating with professionals, we defined 146 attributes. We proved the meaningful relation between our attribute and style by comparing the performance of the model to classify fashion style. To be specific, we try to prove through the fact that the model training attribute information showed better performance than the training only image information. Our next step was to label attributes to a large scale RNA data set we collected. We employed object detection algorithms and built an attribute detection model which yields reasonable performance for labeling over a large scale data set. We used a non-negative factorization NML for clustering style group. Collaborating with professional, we extract 25 style groups from the 300K fashion image data. Finally, we built fancy data set. Using the frequency of the particular style in the certain years, we quantify style popularity. We suggested the application of the fancy framework by analyzing style trend by year, region, and brand. Our research has three contributions. The first is the application of the fashion professional knowledge and insight to prepare a data set and AI modeling that reflect characteristics of the fashion domain. The second is a demonstration of the infra human-centered deep learning model for classifying fashion attributes. The last is the application of framework into the more detailed and reliable fashion trend analysis benefit fashion professional. We interview with the 10 professional. We ask professionals about limitation exist in previous fashion-oriented data set and how to address identify challenge. Through the interview, we identify three limitations 
The first is relation between attribute and style. It is not horizontal, but hierarchical. This is because fashion style consists of combination of attributes. The second is number of the attributes. The fashion professional suggests at least more than 100 attributes. Uh, the last is that attributes need to be generalized, accepted by professional. The absence of expertise can cause ambiguity in data set. As a solution, professional suggests defining attributes used in the real fashion design process. We collaborated with professional to define the attributes they have used. First of all, we defined the six steps of fashion design. Then we defined attributes using each step. Finally, we figured out 146 fashion attributes. We need to verify whether there is a meaningful relation between this attribute and style. To prove it, we compare the performance models among the three models. First, training only image data. Second, only attribute information. And lastly, training both. To compare those, we use the fashion style 14 data set, which include the fashion style labels. We additionally labeled our defined 146 fashion attributes to the fashion style 14 data set. Uh, color related 14 attributes were labeled by dominant color extraction model. The other 132 attributes were manually done by three fashion professional. Then we tested whether the classification model with the attribute added fashion style 14 data set perform better than existing model. We propose a model that combined the feature extracted by Resina 50 and the fashion attributes. First, we use a Resina 50 that provide the highest performance as a feature extractor. After fine tuning Resina 50, we extract the features for all images of data set from the average pooling layer. Next, we combine the image features extracted from the fine-tuned Resina 50 with our 146 fashion attributes to form finer features. The accuracy of our model, which merged the Resina 50 and attributes, was 60% higher than that of the Resina 50 alone. This demonstrated that our attributes have a meaningful relationship with a fashion style. We further investigated the significance of attributes through the visualization. There were 1,126 first positive images from the Lesnar 50 without attributes, and 463 of them were true positive images from our model. We applied the novel explanation technology, LIME, uh, that explained the prediction of any classifier to the classification process of Legend 50 for those the 463 images. Leather box means attribute information and yellow boundary means the key feature that was considered by Legend 50. We can find the model considered the background as the key feature or missed the part of the crucial information of cloth. This indicates that attribute could create synergy with the feature of a CNN-based model. We planned to develop an attribute detection model for labeling attribute on large scale fashion data. For modeling, we built an ADM dataset. We used the fashion style 14 dataset with attribute information and crawl the image from Google. We focus on the 100 attributes which were relatively deficient, such as V-neck and box t-shirts. Then we collaborate again with the fashion professional for labeling attribute on crawled image. We use a two object detection algorithm, FASTRCNN and RetinaMap. By using two backbones, Resina 50 and Resina 101, we developed the four models. As a result, the retina and using Lesina 101 show the best performance. We think our performance is reasonable because we applied the stricter condition to our modeling than previous research, which has at least two problems out of three, including uh, the small number of the classes, limited evaluation criteria, and the limited evaluation metrics. Our model learned more classes, only consider top one class 
and F1 score. We crawled the fashion image to build the large scale attribute data set, a total of 302,772 images were crawled from the Vogue US. We labeled the attribute in each image by using machine learning models. Uh, the dominant color model was used to label the dominant color attribute and the retina model was used to label all other attributes. We have 300K images with 146 attributes. Based on the detected fashion attributes, we started 300K RNA image into the 25 style groups using non-negative metric factorization NMF. We use the NMF because each axis in the space drive by the NMF has a straightforward correspondence with uh, each document cluster and document clustering lizard can be directly derived without additional clustering operations. Uh, through the interview with the 10 professionals, we confirmed the number of the style cluster and name of them. The professional mentioned that between the 25 and 30 is reasonable as a number of the style cluster. Then the professional named each style group based on uh, what they commonly use in the fashion domain, which is how make the clustering leisure to more reasonable and understandable. Finally, we built a large scale fashion style data set, which includes about 300K images with 146 attributes and 25 style groups. We named this data set as the fancy data set. Uh, we want to show the application of our fancy data set by analyzing fashion style trend. A fashion style trend can be defined as a change in popularity of the particular style over time. We are identifying the frequency of the style shown in the fashion runway over 10 years, analyze style trend. We analyze the temporal trajectory of the 25 styles. Uh, the results were largely organized into the four trend group trending, declining, comeback, and steady. In the trend analysis by a region which refer to four main uh, learnings in the world, the New York, Paris, Milan, and London, which city showed a different pattern. In London, for example, the trends of romantic feminine group four was different from other cities. For Milan, the trend of neon street group six was different from other cities. In the trend analysis by brand, we choose Gucci and Chanel because of their popularity. Gucci has a high frequency in group two and three and was very high in group nine, uh, glamorous elegance. Unlike Gucci, uh, in Chanel, a very high ratio was found in group four, the romantic feminine style. Through the evaluation from the professional, we found the free advantage of our framework. The first is a new definition of the style boundary. The second is new insight in trend analysis. The last one is the confirmation of the professional knowledge. We propose the fancy framework which combines deep learning analysis with human insight. Here are five steps in, in the framework. Fancy framework would allow the professional to analyze the fashion image by attribute or style, uh, recommend the most relevant image by uh, various metrics such as attribute, season, or brand, and compare the fashion image in different style. Understand the effective ways of using inherent attribute of image and the drive latent space of those images such as style is important because um, that will support professional decision making and enhance user experience in content mining of multimedia web data. Uh, our data set is available at this link. Thank you.